Diana Denmark here. I am back to show you my haul from yet another clothes swap. If you've been watching my channel for a long time or seen me on Instagram, you will know that I love to declutter and even more, I love to recycle and to get some free stuff. And with a group of ladies that I know uh, in my ladies club, we have been um, doing some clothes swap parties and I've made videos about them before. They're all in the series that I've done on building a wardrobe. I've been decluttering my wardrobe, showing you how I prep my outfits coming up for Christmas or just every day. Anyway, I've got a bag from yesterday. I was at another clothes swap yesterday. And uh, I just want to share with you what I've got and encourage you to get together with some friends. You can use this idea for swapping, um, you know, maybe you want to swap books or uh, Christmas ornaments. There were some Christmas ornaments yesterday or uh, kitchen equipment, whatever it is, uh, maybe craft equipment. If you're into crafting, knitting, sewing, crochet, maybe you could use the same idea. Anyway, I'm going to show you in a, in, in a wee minute what I brought home from the haul uh, yesterday. Uh, but first of all, I shall show you the items that were left over from the last clothes swap party that was held here in my house. I made a video about that. And at the end of the clothes swap party, we had quite a lot of items left over. And there were, there were quite a few ladies that weren't able to meet with us last time. So we kept those items. I had them in my car. You're going to see that next in the little film. You'll see how much was left over. And then I shall show you the items that, uh, you know, when we were swapping yesterday. And the food, because there's always good food. We all bring along a dish to share. Uh, and then I'll come back and show you what we have. And what was I going to say to you? Oh, yeah. And, and the items that you... Um, see which are left over this time those bags because there were let me see i think there were 10 or 11 ladies there yesterday and those clothes have been uh we've looked at them two or three times nobody wants them now so those are all going to the uh, thrift store the charity shop uh, and they will be passed on and our next clothes swap will be after christmas um, in, in the beginning of spring, probably around the month of February, when we're all looking forward to getting some spring uh, things into our, into our wardrobe. So anyway, I'm going to roll the film so you'll see what we had left over from our first party, what was going on yesterday and the food, and then come back and I shall show you what I have. Woohoo! Exciting! I love getting free stuff, you know, Canny Scott. Anyway, just, just watch the next part and then come back. And here you can see in the boot of my car, these are the items that weren't claimed last time, but we had an, uh, quite a few ladies couldn't make it to the last clothes swap party. So I'm bringing those to the party today and we've got some books uh, and also this one that I got at the book exchange, which is fabulous. I'm passing it on. Uh, and this bag is full of jewellery and makeup. So anyway, I need to get going in the car and I shall see you when we get there. So here we have a little walk around of what we have so far. We have some uh, accessories in this pile. Moving on to, um, I think that's dresses. Yep, got dresses here. This pile are uh, tops, a few of them you might recognize. This is one that I took from another clothes swap party and is back in the mix. Coats and jackets, uh, what is this? This is uh, sweaters, jumpers, trousers, and what's that? Uh, skirts, sportswear. <laughs> oh, and there's tons of sportswear. Looky here, looky here. We've got swimming goggles, if anybody's interested. Tons of jewelry, handbags, Christmas ornaments, and books. I just love seeing all these Christmas things out in our wee mugs and Christmas pies, mince pies. Oh, and there's a wee bit of my chocolate pistachio fudge and the cranberry pistachio biscuits. And I have to say the food was delicious. Uh, just after I filmed that, one of the ladies came with some um, little quiches that she had made just by rolling out... Um, uh, bread, you know, slices of bread, and then put them to a little uh, muffin tray, baked it for a bit, and then added it. Anyway, I, I could go on and on about the food. 
What did I get yesterday? Well, uh, a mishmash of things. Um, let me see, I just, I just start pulling out things and as I said, we were probably we were about 10 or 12 ladies yesterday. Um, and one of the things were these Puma um, trainers. That's what we call them in, in British English, a pair of trainers. And these are, I'm going to use those as a pair of indoor shoes for the house. I'm going to clean them up. Uh, they're pretty clean anyway. These had actually belonged to one of the sons and they're pretty, uh, in fact, I might wear them outside. They're pretty trendy and they were just my size. So a pair of trainers and also one of these kind of thermal uh, jackets. I actually have a few of these that I wear over my normal clothes and underneath my winter coats because in Denmark, like this morning, we were, we had frost again during the night and I was down for my skinny dip in the sea. Uh, so you can't have too many layers. And this is a really nice one in blue. I've got one in uh, black. Uh, and one in green actually. So, so those are those are great to have. Very practical. And then, oh, the, this is a pair of woolly socks that I had because when you go to somebody's house in Denmark, you take off your shoes when you go in, uh, unless it's in the evening. You know, when you've got your um, fancy shoes to change into. Um, but I, I had a pair of woolly socks with me for you know when we're wandering around my friend's house. So those will just go back into my cupboard. Uh, let me see, I'm, I'm just pulling things out. Okay, oh, a nice blouse, which actually belonged to my bestie. <laughs> and she had put that in. Not a fantastic colour for me, but I really like the shape of it and the sleeves. And I think it's going to be really nice with uh, a nice uh, necklace. And anyway, so that, you will see that appearing very soon on one of my outfits for the day. I've got, uh, I'm, I'm starting to look out tomorrow's outfit. And this is another uh, top. Also belong to my bestie, and you can see. Oh, I love Zara. I can always spot a, a Zara uh, item, you know, from a hundred paces. Also, not a fantastic colour for me. I really like the material. It's kind of organza, shimmery, and that will go nice over a little blue vesty top underneath, and with blue and a nice blue necklace. So that look quite nice if I'm going out in the evening. And then, oh, and there were also quite a few books yesterday. And this is one that a friend had found for another friend at the book exchange. I've told you, you've maybe seen it on Instagram. We have these book exchanges in our area where they are open 24 hours a day. It's like columns which have uh, solar powers, solar powered panels on the top. And you can just go in and, you know, take a book, hand in your own books. Uh, anyway, this one looks quite good. The Cookbook Collector. It's a, a novel. So it, it looked quite interesting. So I'm going to read that. And I handed in my, as you probably just saw, the book that I got from the book exchange, uh, A Man Called Ova, which I loved. So that somebody else has got that. Uh, let me see. A little um, leather purse from, from Bill Sack. And as I said to you, we don't carry cash in, in Denmark. Everything is with uh, cards. And I've got my own little purse. Uh, but when we travel abroad, you know, when, when I'm in Brussels or home visiting mum in uh, Edinburgh in Scotland, it's useful to have my currency in a different purse. So that is going to be used for that. What else? Oh, this is a um, for burning, um, you know, essential oils. That, that was also one of my besties things. Right. Oh, and here's a funny thing. It wasn't actually part of the swap, but one of the ladies in my group, she had come to our house during the summer, at the end of summer, and uh, taken some of the plums and apples from our garden. And I said to her, I love plum jam. It's my favourite jam. My granny used to make it all the time. I used to love you know, the bits in it, you know, the bits of skin. <sighs> Always reminds me of my granny. And she had made some plum jam. So I'm so looking forward. I'm, I'm, Probably going to have that uh, this afternoon with a wee bit of toast. Mm. Right, what else? Um, oh yeah, we, we've also started saying to each other to bring along uh, any nail varnish that we're not using. You probably saw on Instagram I had decluttered my nail varnish uh, after the last clothes swap and I found some more that I could give away. Uh, face masks, uh, perfume that you maybe got as a gift, didn't like. Bring them along because you don't need to worry about what size you are. Uh, makeup and toiletries, they fit anybody. So I got this uh, Clinique mask. Pop that there. Hold on, get that out of the way. 
Oh, and this I actually used last night because I had a bubble bath because uh, I was feeling kind of a bit achy and tired. Um, an Avon Winter Dreamland Raspberry and Apple Bubble Bath thing. And I love raspberries. That's my other favourite thing in the world. Raspberries and cherries and plum jam. Okay, and this is um, a perfume, Dolce & Gabbana. Quite nice. I'm not quite, whoop, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm going to try it a few times and if I don't like it, then it will go back into the clothes swap. This is the great thing. We get to try things and discover new things. Okay, this one my daughter already has her eyes on. Uh, Gucci Bamboo. Beautiful bottle, which will look really nice on my little perfume stand over there. Mm, a nice scent, uh, but as I said, my, my daughter's got an eye on, on this, so we'll see. We can share. We're good at sharing. Uh, oh, there's more. There's more. <laughs> more um, toiletries and makeup. Uh, Max Factor makeup that I actually am already using, so that's fantastic. Love to save money. And... Uh, a Lancome uh, lipstick in a kind of nude colour. And with these things, you know, uh, you, you just need to use some rubbing alcohol and you can wipe these things and, you know, we're not worried about... If you're worried about bacteria and germs, that's fine. Don't swap those things. But, uh, you know, we're all winter bathers and very hardy. So what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Okay, I'm almost down at the bottom. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, a few bits of jewellery, a very nice necklace, you know I love my necklaces, but I might wear that tomorrow with my outfit for the day, Let, let's see, you, know, you need to watch an Instagram to find out, and oh these I really like, uh, isn't this beautiful, a really nice bracelet, and I really like those uh, colours, and so I'm really looking forward to wearing that, and quite often when I'm looking, you know, to put together an outfit, I start off with, you know, a piece of jewellery and then work backwards instead of starting with uh, a top, which also was one of my besties tops. It's another hand-me-down. Oh, and another uh, bracelet. I love those uh, kind of mother-of-pearl colours. Yeah, I got some great stuff. Oh, and um, a lip gloss from uh, Tombor, which is a Danish, um, Danish brand. A nude one, which is great, just slap it on and go. And, oh yeah, forgotten about this. Uh, this was one of the last items to arrive at the party. A really fancy swimming costume, just in my size. Tried it on uh, and it fits really well. And you may say, why does a skinny dipper, because you know, a skinny dip all year, why do I need a swimming costume? Well, I do wear a swimming costume, you know, if I'm going to the pool or if I'm on holiday or if we're down at the beach um, swimming, you know, once the people start coming back to the beach in the spring, then, then we wear costumes again. And this is a really beautiful one with, with adjustable straps um, and it comes down quite far uh, on the hips so that that's a real find and two more things and then then we're done I won't go on and on and on and on uh, a nice belt uh, with animal print which is good because I had one from a charity shop and it wasn't leather and it actually broke so you will be seeing that soon in an outfit and also this really nice belt which I thought would be good for any kind of black um, cardigans that I've got or um, you know in a black black dress so there we go I got great uh, things as usual so the next thing that I need to do is set my trusty timer and uh, put all these things away so anyway just once more Please, if you have, um, you know, a little group of friends, see if you can, uh, you know, recycle and, um, you know, share with each other because we're getting rid of things that we are not using, that we don't love, making way for, for new stuff. And, you know, I, I took a huge bag yesterday of, of more things that managed to declutter. Books, uh, there was jewellery, I had um, uh, toiletries. And then I came home with, with new stuff to try and it didn't cost a penny. So anyway, let's all go, go, go with our recycling. So that's it for me down in Denmark. Uh, oh, and one of the questions that I get a lot about these clothes swap parties is, what do you do if 
more than one person wants the same, same item. And we had kind of discussed this yesterday. I know what for us it's not a problem. We are grown, we're grown ups, and you know, sometimes somebody takes and you think, oh, I wish I'd seen that first. It doesn't matter because quite often the item comes back or you find something else. Uh, you know, you've just got to go with the flow with these things because, you know, sometimes you'll come home with clothes, other times you'll come home with uh, jewellery or perfume and we all come home feeling really kind of jazzed up and uh, it's a great it's a great way to, to spend you know a couple of hours with your friends anyway that's it for me i need to get going off my big bahuki so i shall see you very soon keep recycling one foot in front of the other and uh, live long and prosper okay see you very soon down in denmark signing off